Hello everyone, my name is Jake Peter, and today we are six days until Pokemon Sun and Moon. In this video, we'll be talking about the new battle format, Battle Royale. Now, for those of you that do not know, Battle Royale is the new kind of battle thing that they added to the game here, and it's a four-player true free-for-all. No more having to go to multi-battles and just say, it's free-for-all, it's, it's a true free-for-all. And what is awesome about it is that it's going to just bring everybody even closer and it lets you, you know, have bragging rights whenever you need them. It's cool. You actually go into a fighting ring, kind of what you would think Incineroar would fight in, and you have your individual colors on the edges. You know, you got the red corner, you got the blue corner, green corner, yellow corner, and the rules are fairly simple. With the rules, you're going to be given three Pokemon that you can bring in. Uh, you can choose your three, of course. And they're going to be the exact level that you need them to be. They're probably going to have flat battle and anything goes kind of rules to go with it. But it's going to be the same stats. It's not substituted moves. It's it's what you bring in with it, which makes it even more exciting. So it's going to be like an official format and not just something for fun on the side that you may do every once in a while, like planting trees. Oh boy, who even plants trees? Yeah, that was, a, that was weird. But <laughs> with that, we are going to also get points based on how many Pokemon we have left and how many eliminations we have taken to the enemies. Yeah, I said that weirdly, but okay. Yeah, basically you get points for defeating Pokemon, getting the final blow, and you get points for also having Pokemon at the end. In the event of a tie, the tie will go to the person that actually got the finishing blow. So speed actually is going to matter quite a bit. You might not necessarily breed Pokemon to be the quickest, because if you go first and they get down to half health, and then someone goes second and they get them down to zero health, they're the ones getting the point. So you may want to trade your speed just a little bit less if you're trying to go for some interesting stuff. So we're going to have a lot of metagame thinking about this. And with moves that are broad hitting, like Earthquake, you're actually going to be able to hit everyone, but it's also going to take just a third of the damage. So unless you have a really high attack, it's not going to do that well. Not really like a third. It's the same thing as if you were to do it on a triple battle, which you know it's not that great. Triple battle in the middle position. But yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting choosing Pokemon and seeing how everybody's going to play. It's a lot of metagame. You'll be able to swap out and everything. But I just, I kind of wanted to get your gist on this Battle Royale format. I know when we stream that we will be streaming some Battle Royale. That will be very interesting. Uh, you should definitely check out our Pokemon Sun and Moon streams when we start doing those. We already stream Pokemon Omega Ruby right now, so we're going to throw this into our little bag of fun when it comes out. And I will definitely be giving this a good try several times over. But, you know, that's it for today's video. It was very short and simple and sweet, just talking about the new format. There isn't much to go off of besides actually seeing battles themselves and getting into the meta mind game with it. So yeah, I'll definitely leave the video a like if you enjoyed the video. Give the video a subscribe from here. We also have more of these 12 Days of Alola series going on, so feel free to watch more of those. They're definitely all very interesting. And, you know, until tomorrow's video where we talk about Pokeride system Alola.